Hey YouTube, Devin here with Comics and Stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, first thing I want to talk about today are Funko Pops. That is the topic of the video. This is your introduction. If you are new to the world of Funko, this is the video for you. So check it out. I had a few friends the other day who aren't as nerdy as I am. Normally, I, I mean, you guys would assume that I have a lot of nerd friends, but some of them aren't. Some of them are very unnerdy. And uh, I was talking about Funko Pops and somebody said, Devin, what is a Funko Pop? That sounds so weird. And I, I mean, I was like flabbergasted. My, my mind exploded and it was just like a totally surreal experience. And I was like, you don't know what a Funko Pop is? And they're like, no, but you should make a YouTube video about it so I can know. And I was like, that's a great idea. So that was gross. Sorry, I cracked all my knuckles. So what are Funko Pops? Well, let's give you a brief history of the company. So the company was actually founded like 1998 by a dude named Mike Becker. You can actually find this information on their website. And he, it was just a bobblehead company. Um, but... In 2005, it was sold to their current CEO, Brian Mariotti, and he had the goal of, and this is what they say, they, that he had the goal of, uh, you know, capitalizing on the collectible, memo, uh, collectible memorabilia enterprises, or, you know, like all, so, I mean, they exploded. Long story short, uh, I started noticing these things in... Oh gosh, maybe, maybe 2012, 2013, but I'm sure they've, you know, I... I pretty sure they, they've been around for longer than that, the actual Funkos. I only have one original Funko that I ended up getting on eBay, which I will show you. <clears throat> this is my Aquaman Pop number 16 from the original run of DC Comics superheroes. Um, this one's really cool. The first one they ever made was Batman, which is number one. Surprisingly, Superman was number seven. Um, but their first one was actually Batman characters. They did Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Penguin, uh, Riddler, Joker, and then Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash... Another Green Lantern, weird. Uh, and then Sinestro, Two-Face, Shazam, uh, and then Green Arrow, Aquaman for number 16, Hawkman, and then Martian Manhunter. Um, anyhow, long story short, they exploded with popularity. They are a local business here to Washington. Uh, they are based up in Everett, Washington. I'm down here in Seattle. Um, and so, they, I mean, they, they have the coolest stuff here. Like at Emerald City Comic Con every year, they have like the coolest exclusives just because we're kind of like their, their main city, uh, you know, I guess for, for selling stuff because Everett doesn't have a large Comic Con. So uh, when Seattle's Emerald City Comic Con runs around, they, they, are, they are out there. They got, I mean, it's cool. I got the coolest stuff from Emerald City Comic Con this year. If you didn't see that video, uh, check out my Comic Con vlog section on the channel it's great um so anyhow funko pops they are they have over well over 100 licenses for 100 different products characters movie franchises television franchises comic book franchises all that stuff uh you can basically find a funko pop for anything and everything they have everything from things from stranger things to you know wonder woman like this guy right here they have you know they have old uh dc characters they have guardians of the galaxy they have game characters you know i have overwatch i mean there's there's so many of them but uh what are they 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 started out with uh, just little bobbleheads and vinyl figures those are just your classic funko pops but then they invented things like funko pop rides dorbs dorbs rides they do uh pint-sized heroes they do hats they do uh, salt and pepper shakers mugs t-shirts i'm wearing a Funko Pop t-shirt. This is my Rogue One t-shirt. Ta-da! If you guys have been following my Instagram, which is at Comics and Stuff One, uh, you'll see that I'm partaking in the Funko Photo a Day Challenge, and every single day there is a different theme, and you have to post a photo based upon that theme. Today is lazy. I haven't even taken a picture yet because I've been too lazy. But uh, yesterday was uh yesterday i guess that would have been if you're watching this video uh this is saturday so friday may 12th the theme was funko fashion and you'll like my post go check it out i'm not going to tell you what it is because you need to go look um what else has funko done oh my gosh they have exploded into literally everything plushies keychains uh action figures and i'm sure i'm missing a whole bunch of them but uh, that is what Funko is. They, they have done an amazing job at creating high collectability, different variants. I mean, I, if, if you look on eBay, there are Funkos that, you know, can go as expensive as $10,000. And that's that's insane. I've, I've recently learned that my collection here, my three shelves with about 100 Funkos can go for at least, you know, like $1,000 on its own. And that's this is like 100 of them. That's, that's you know, about $10 a piece. Like, you know, maybe maybe a little more. Who knows? Um but yeah, so Funkos are great. They have a ton of different variants. They, they, they've essentially made or, you know, comic books into action figures. That's, that's really what they've done, uh, and it's, it's ingenious. I, I have a whole bunch here. I'm going to stack some up. 
got my Dragon Ball Z. So as you can see, there's a ton of them. So really, collecting these things is totally endless. I have so many of them. Holy cow. Okay, so now that I got that all cleaned up, um, that's really it for this video. That is who, what Funkos are. They generally retail for, you know, $9.99 to $12.99. Unless you're at a Comic-Con, then they can be like up to 20 bucks. And, you know, based off their collectability, because they, they sometimes they retire Funko, so they stop producing them. Those get more expensive. But they're a lot of fun to collect. They are just, they're just cool. It's, it's, it's great marketing, honestly. Um, but that's it for this episode of Comics and Stuff, guys. Uh, it is my birthday. Oh my gosh, how did I for I guess I don't really celebrate it that often, but it's my birthday. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Yay. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, like button. If you want to share me your you know stories about your experience with Funko Pops, please post them in the comments below. Um, and that's really it. So I will see you guys next week.